Hi and welcome to Minimal Effective Dose Routine Ultimate Mobility. A very big part of uh, optimal health and well-being when it comes to your physical conditioning is making sure that you not only have flexible muscles but also mobile and, and flexible joints and tendons and fascia. The routine, routine we're going to go, there's the dog as always, the routine we're about to do is a, a combination of foam roller and mobility exercises where we alternate one muscle group, a one foam roller routine with the same muscle group with a mobility exercise. Give it a go, follow along with me. We're going to do it exactly as I want you to do it. Starting off with the calves. Foam roller. So starting on your calves, rowing it from the knee all the way to the ankle one leg is over the other, applying some weight. We're doing, going to do not just down the middle of the calf, but turn the leg on the side to the outside of the calf and just roll your weight all the way along, all the way back. It's fine when you find a nice sticky sore point to stop and really just do it. Roll around, put a bit more extra pressure on that and try and release through that really tight spot. So both sides. The minimum I want you to do is 10 rolls up and down per leg. So this routine will take a little while, but persevere. And remember, there's many different types of foam roller. The one I've got now is probably a medium hard one. You can get quite soft ones. The main thing is you choose a foam roller, which is one you'll actually do. So 10 up and downs on my calves, and now I'm going to do a mobility exercise for my calves into a downward dog position, one leg, dropping down in the calf, dropping down in the calf, and really make it quite dynamic. So we are pushing that heel down with a little bit of force, keeping the back nice and strong, just mobilizing through those calves, in a dynamic stretching motion, 10 each side. Oops. It rolled away. Now, for the calves, for the hamstrings. Hamstrings are the muscle group that hurts the least because there's a big fleshy part between your bone and the foam roller. So this is the one people usually enjoy the most. It doesn't quite hurt as much as the others. Of course, none of them will hurt when you're supple as a leopard, but that pain you feel, that's just the tightness in the fascia and the joints, which needs to be released. Foam roller is not just good for loosening up the muscles, it's fantastic for blood flow and very, very good and in principle used for fascial relief. The fascia is like a connective skin that combines all the muscles, all the tendons, all parts of the body. We need that stretched out and massage or the home version, foam roller, is the only way to do it. Hamstrings, now we're going to mobilise the hamstrings in a dynamic fashion, standing where you nice and solid, just like the cardio warm up, taking that through full range of motion with a straight leg swing, keeping your pelvis nice and strong, 10 each side, trying to get higher and higher as we go up. Both sides. So important to progress the stretch as you kick it forward, but not so much that you injure yourself and kick too hard and go beyond your range of motion and get a slight muscle tear. Okay, calves and hamstrings are done. We're going to move into the glutes, the bum muscle now. I'm going to lie on my side, start with the foam roller and the fleshy part of the bum. Roll around 
this whole glute area. There's a whole very important section through your bum, through your hips, through your pelvis. Once I've done the stop, the back, I'm going to do the sides. You'll feel this roll over your hip bone. Roll around there, some, probably some niggly parts in there. And then most importantly, I'm going to roll face down. One leg will be off it, and one leg will be right into my hip flexor. And I'm really rolling right into that hip flexor, the top of the hip joint. You always feel this one. It's a very strong, very tight muscle group in most people. Working in to those hip flexors. And once again, pausing if you feel something that's a little tight and breathe through it. Now, the other side. So start on the glutes. Right through there. Into the glutes. That's it. So, nice fleshy part. Doesn't hurt too much. Because there's once again a lot of muscle mass between the bone now into the side of the hip. Work that whole complex of the hip area and the hip flexor. You'll see I've got one leg off and my pelvis is facing straight down to the ground and I'm right into the hip flexor. Okay, I've warmed them up, loosened them up. Now we're going to go into the corresponding stretch for that area. It's called a 90-90 stretch. 90 degrees, thighs straight out, straight across. This one's straight out, straight back. Okay, we're going to go chest down, breathe it out, slowly down, take the chest down. Two or three breaths, trying to get my chest down towards my foot, not over the knee, but towards my foot. And remembering as always, breathe. Now the hands are going to come up. I'm going to roll those knees over, keeping the feet exactly where they are. So you feel that gristle right through in the hip joint. Keep that 90 degrees and take it down. Breathing slowly. Two or three breaths. Down. And up. I'm going to do that again. Roll over. No hands is the important part. Roll through. Breathe down. Nice and slowly. And up and the other side one more time. Roll over, roll over, roll over. Keep those feet still. You can see that I'm not as good one side as the other. It's pretty much common for many people. Next up, we have the exercise which the foam roller is most known for, the ITV or the side of the leg. The reason this one is the most painful for most people is A, it's quite tight, this band that goes along the side of the legs, and B, is the femur is very, very close to the side of the leg, so there's not much cushioning. Rolling it all the way up and all the way down from the knee joint right up to the hip all the way up, really working in, working in those little hard niggly bits, putting as much weight. You can see how I use my body weight to add load. 10 rolls up and down, right into those ITBs. Nobody likes to do these ones. You will roll away a little bit, you just gotta keep adjusting. Trust me, it gets easier. Just got to persevere for a week or two, doing this a few times maybe, and it will get easier. Plenty of cocoa. All the way down, right on the sides here. We're not getting into our quads yet, we're just sticking on the ITB because this is worth spending some time on. Very important this muscle group because it's so tight from the hip to the knee. Now the corresponding stretch on that one 
the same way standing and grabbing a bench or something where you can stabilize yourself and taking it across and to the side, across and to the side. So I'm really stretching out that muscle grip as I swing it across, keeping the hips stable down, let them turn, mobilizing through the hip, and that band that runs along the side of your leg. Both sides, 10 times. Full extension, you get the adductors as you come up for the groin muscles. And swing it across. From the ITB, we go to the quadriceps, the big muscles, working all the way through the adductors and the inside. What you're going to do is do down the side of the quads, move an inch, go another roll, move an inch. So you're slowly, like a rotisserie, working your way around the quads. You see I've got one leg off and one leg on, so I can work all my way into the inner thigh and then all the way back again, which will total about 10 rolls from top to bottom. Doesn't have to be fast, these rolls. In fact, the slower the better. Both sides. Starting on the side, just where the ITV stops and the side of the quad starts. And roll an inch at a time, every time you do a new roll, roll over. Okay. To the inside, the groin. And work our way. All the way back. So, with the quads and the hamstring, we're going to combine this exercise. Very simply, we go to lunge position, toe is up at the back, we drop into a lunge, we pull back to a hamstring stretch. Trying to make it flow, so into the hip flexor and quads, back into hamstring. We notice my foot stays pointed, that's very key. Dropping in, my body is upright, my hips are forward, and dropping back into the hamstring. Dropping in, and dropping back. Okay, and now you can't quite see this, so I'll do it this way. Right, I'm going to move this position, then I'm going to turn and sit backwards and keep that leg straight and get into the groin stretch. So I rock forward and back, hip flexor and hamstring, and then deep into the adductor or the long groin muscle. And the key is this foot is flat on the ground. Okay, we'll do it this side. Hip flexor. Lunging in, upright body, dropping back, leg is straight, lean over the top, use your hands. The more flexible you are, the more you can sort of rock and roll this in a nice steady system. So working on that mobility. Drop it in, four or five each side, turn it around, foot is flat, sitting back and down, and doing that long adductor stretch. Keeping that foot anchored and breathing out through there. Nice, so we've worked our way around the whole legs now. We've got calves and hamstrings and ITB and quads and adductors and the glutes and the hips. Now we're going to work on the upper body a little bit. Just a couple for these ones. Taking the foam roller on the elbow again. I'm just going to turn my body on the side. I don't want the foam roller to actually hit my spine just on the, the fleshy part, to the side of the spine, starting in your lower back, roll it in there. These muscles are called QLs, quadra quadratus laborum. Right, they get very tight. Right, and then above those is your lat muscles. Latissimus, right, we want to get right into there. Then we're going to go further down, and bring the foam roller right underneath your rotator cuff muscles on the back of your shoulder, right in your tricep. You can see I'm really lying on the ground and I'm using my legs to drive all the way down to my lower back and all the way back, 
Log your lats into your shoulder, back of your shoulders, and you rotate the cuff muscles into the tricep. See, I'm really getting into the ground, embracing the floor, rolling up and down, four or five of these each side, putting as much weight as you can bear into that whole side of the upper body. Other side, lower back, right, rolling in there to start with. I can hold as much weight as I want on my elbow, my feet are going to be the weight. Right, then I'm going to roll it down into my lats because I'm quite used to it. I can put my full body weight and drive all the way down and all the way back. Once again, especially around these rotators, it's a bit niggly, takes a bit of getting used to. Roll it down all the way, but you've got to spend as much time on it as I'm spending right now, or it doesn't really work for you. This fascia and all these knots take a lot of work to get out. Great. So roll down that side of the back. Now we're going to work on some flexibility and mobility. Two stretches combined. This is called a cobra to scorpion. Flying on your side, hands by the, nice and tight. Just coming up into a back extension, keeping your short line on the ground. Don't come up any further than when your shorts come off the ground. And back down, three of those. Up, that's two. And come up, is three. Okay, now we're gonna put our hands out by the side. And we're gonna flick one leg up and over the top, keeping your shoulders and hands anchored to the ground and try and touch your foot. As you can see, I can pretty much touch my foot. You get a really good stretch for your lower back, keeping those arms and shoulders down. So it looks like the sting in the tail of a scorpion, hence the name. Right over, three of those. Stretch over, stretch over. Depending on how tight you are, you can do this whole sequence of three cobras to three scorpions, twice. And then moving on to the last foam roller, everybody's favorite because it uses the big broad muscles of the back and a little bit of the neck. Called a foam roller angel. I'm sitting onto it with my sit bones. All right, I'm gonna roll down, use my feet to bring myself all the way down, up onto my neck, my hands are forward. Hands are gonna come around like a snow angel, but it's a foam ro roller angel. All the way down, all the way back. And then we're going to, this time, I'm going to turn to the side a little and put that foam roller right into my trapezius in the side of my neck there. That hand is down, this hand is over the top. I'm going to just niggle around in there a little bit. You'll feel a nice release in through that trapezius muscle on the side of the neck. Swap the side. And then come back into a foam roller. Angel, another couple of those. See if I use my feet for leverage. And then all we're going to do to finish off is go into a prayer pose. My feet are together, my knees are wide. I'm going to drop my bum back as far as I can, put my hands forward as far as I can. And whilst I'm stretching my bum as far back and my hands as far forward, Drop my armpits to the ground and really try and elongate through the spine. Breathing in and out. Then I'm going to move to one side and try and stretch down here the lats as far across as I can without moving my body. And then all the way across the other side. Stretching down the side of the body. And then elongate one more time. Bring it up into an all fours position, under the feet, make the bend, roll it up nice and slowly, all the way up, I'll turn to face you, and stack the step back, put your hands all the way to the ceiling, stretch out, up onto your toes, stretch, 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 reach for the ceiling, full stretch, and breathe out, roll them forward, roll them back, and you have just done an amazing foam roller and mobility routine. If you can do that, 
once or twice a week, it'll do wonders for your flexibility and mobility and you'll just feel the ease of movement in your body. Good luck and well done.